The WWE Universe just exploded. That's because LA Knight is here. Yeah. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Los Angeles, California. Weighing in at 241 pounds. LA Knight. LA Knight's not a fad. He has proven himself to be legit. He's trending because his star is white hot. LA Knight's not missing his chance. It's all about now. And Knight is laying the foundation to be a top WWE superstar for a long, long time. Dirty Dom is on the loose. On the loose. I'm pretty sure he's a free man. Yeah, and the streets are saying it's going to be a good night for Poppy. And his opponent, representing the Judgment Day from San Diego, California, weighing in at 200 pounds, Dirty Dominic Mysterio! The toughest young superstar in all of WWE and in Cell Block 6. Well, Dom has had big shoes to fill, and he has certainly done all that he can, for better or worse, to make a name for himself in this industry. It's time to watch the most dangerous dude in WWE do what he does best. Other than disrespect his father? I'm not exactly sure what you're talking about, Corey. You have to appreciate the unapologetic charm and brazen self-confidence of LA Knight. This guy believes he's a certified megastar and acts accordingly. It's certainly something in the way Knight struts around, the love him or hate him. You can't deny he's got the build, the skills, and the look of a superstar. I'm sure Knight is planning to win this match in the same stylish manner that he does everything else. And then we've got Dominic Mysterio, a superstar who turned his back on his own family because he thought they were getting in the way of his greatness. Dom may have inherited his father's tremendous in-ring abilities, but he certainly didn't inherit his dad's class and honor. Oh, spare me. I respect Dominic's choice to go be his own man, to put himself first. His family was just dragging him down. Dom is a cunning and lethal competitor. And now that he's surrounded himself with people who understand him instead of holding him back, there's no limit to what he can accomplish. So what are the proverbial keys to success for LA Knight here? Into the pin attempt. Two count. Oh, he kicked out. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Coming back in the ring. Okay, consider that a harsh lesson. Hurricanrana. This Hold was on not a second. I was worried about this happening. And this superstar's waiting for him. Where's he at? Uh oh, there he is. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. In the cover. Kick out at two. 
At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. He catches Dominic with a counter. And misses on the springboard. Uh-oh. Look at the suplex. No, uh -oh. no, no. no. And you have to think moves like that are why L.A. Knight is so confident. Just one of many reasons. Knight is the real. L.A. Knight. L.A. Knight with the B.F.T. L.A. Knight with a big time. And that'll about do it, folks. Now let's take a look back at these guys in action. the previous distraction shifted the tide of this match. Tried to stay vigilant the whole time, but it proved too much in the end. Yeah, they put up a good fight, but you have to imagine their head was not in the right place after that distraction. That's true, Saxon. It's hard to focus on just the match when there's an outside variable at play. One of the most destructive forces we've ever seen. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the bloodline from the Isle of Samoa, weighing in at 350 pounds, the Samoan Bulldozer, Umaga! A multiple-time Intercontinental Champion here in WWE. A truly terrifying blend of size, speed, and aggression. And think about all the epic brawls we've seen Umaga involved in against the likes of both John Cena and Bobby Lashley. Umaga is on a mission here tonight. Complete obliteration of anyone else in the ring. Guys, we're about to see a fight. I've been waiting a long time for this. His opponent from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic warrior, Sheamus! He has got to be in the best shape of his life. And the worst mood of his life as well. I got a feeling that bro kick is more than ready to strike tonight. Now, I'm not one for speculation, but Sheamus says tonight he has a bro kick for a commentator, too. But Sheamus likes you and Michael. <laughs> The Celtic warrior Sheamus is already ready for a fight. No matter the place, no matter the odds, this gritty superstar has never backed down. He's truly as tough as they come. We've seen that toughness of Sheamus tested in some truly brutal matches. When you're in the ring with the Celtic warrior, you are in for a rough morning after. I think Sheamus is excited to get down to business here and prove his toughness once again. He's got a very intimidating problem on his hands. Umaga, a sadistic super... His shoulders are down! the shoulder up after one. Frankly, he should have known that wasn't enough. 
Got the leg and elbow drop. For Sheamus to come out on top in this one, he needs to focus on cornering his opponent and unloading his most brutal offense. He can't get tricked into a cat and mouse game. He needs to trap his opponent with big hits. That strategy certainly does play to Sheamus' strengths as a bruiser inside the ring. Oh, Sheamus saw it coming. Oh, man, that was nasty. Umaga experiencing a bit of a setback with that maneuver. Sheamus doing what he can to protect his territory. Getting him into the corner. Trapped in the corner. Shoulders down. And he easily stops the ref's count. Staying in this one. Gets out of there in a hurry. He gets back into the ring. into the hip toss. I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Moved out of the way. Nobody home. He switches it back around. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. That is the kind of move that leaves our jaws on the floor. Unbelievable. Winding up. Samoan spike. Did Umaga just finish Damn this? It. What a kick out. I don't believe it. What? How did Sheamus kick out of that? Not quite quitting time yet for the Celtic Warrior. And now the Samoan Bulldozer are going to have to dig a little deeper to close this one out. The whole ring in between them. Ah. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. From the top. Oh. Paying it right back with a reversal. Rame is setting up. Oh, Irish curse delivery is not done. Irish curse backbreaker. And it's second by Sheamus. Good grief. You know that. He may get the three count right here. Oh, I think so. No, stops the count at two. How? How? Oh, oh, what a kick. Oh, oh what a kick. a barrage on their opponent. Oh my goodness. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. Bicycle knee to the face. Right to the knee. The Celtic warrior loves to fight. I like it. With the legs hooked, could be looking for it. Stepped over, Cloverleaf. And he's out. Tremendous strength. Pattern instincts from Sheamus. Oh, what an uppercut. Jordan. He's heading up top. Thinking big. Sky high. Elbow drop. Piercing. I didn't think we'd see a kick out there. Avoiding contact. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. Momentum is running away from Umaga. Impressive move from Sheamus, guys. Sheamus with a man up on his shoulders. Oh, no, this is over. Shoulders down. Yeah, no. He doesn't get the three. What do you have to do to put this guy away? He must have had that scouted. Sheamus anticipated that one. Okay. He thinks he has it. Makes a cover. Sheamus gets the win.
We've got some time to take another look at some of the highlights from that one. push aside the metaphorical noise in this one and secure the victory. The odds were stacked against them, but they are standing tall now. Yeah, but they shouldn't expect the same results each time. They got lucky here. Mello has arrived. The following contest is an elimination match. Making his way to the ring from Boston, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes. I hate to parrot a catchphrase, but Mello really is money. Multiple title reigns and main events to his name already. And this guy is destined to continue that success in all of WWE. is ready for action to begin. Time to think big. And his opponents first, representing the New Day from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 285 pounds. This man is a force of nature in singles or tag team competition. NXT champion, intercontinental champion, double digit tag titles, money in the bank, WWE champion, Big E has done it all. Here comes Apollo Crews. A man who has evolved to his purest form. And from Benway State, Nigeria, weighing in at 241 pounds, Apollo Crews! Just take a look at Apollo's eyes. He is completely focused on succeeding. We've seen many forms of Cruz, but this might be the best version yet. I think we're going to see Cruz hit even greater heights than before. We know he has the power, the speed, the skills. Now Apollo needs to tie it all together to reach that next level. The Almighty is here. And from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds. The Almighty is always on his grind and steps up to any challenge presented. 
an incredible resume of championship accolades. Bobby Lashley has held the United States Championship, Intercontinental, ECW, and WWE titles multiple times each. The presence of Bobby Lashley is not a figment of your imagination. There's no filter on a social media app needed. Bobby Lashley is as real as it gets. Hey, he's a peak physical specimen. Proud U.S. Army veteran who's dominated sports entertainment for nearly two decades. Rules are simple in an elimination match. Each fall brings the number of competitors down until there is only one winner remaining. Ready to get it on, we have Carmelo Hayes, Big E, Apollo Crews, and Bobby Lashley. The path to victory is as simple as it is daunting. Take the opposition down one by one. Easier said than done, of course. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. the shoulder up. Wow. What's it going to take? Those one counts getting harder and harder to kick out of. Byron, how does this matchup require a different mindset? A superstar must be prepared to go all out. Be as aggressive and vicious as possible. Remember, it's no disqualification. The superstar can do whatever they want, but it can only end with a three count or a tap. And set right into the corner. Close line to the back of the neck. He deflects it right back. Super kick. Apollo's composure being shaken with that attack. This Move is... over, Byron. Let a professional call this one because this is going to be nasty. <laughs> that move on its own will knock the wind out of you, but from that height, it'll knock. But Bear Hug will just be enough. He kicks out instantly. I can't believe the ref didn't get two here. Being carried around with ease. Oh, what a right. Really just landed in. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Showing his determination there with that kick out. Well scattered reversal there. Tough position to be caught in here. Finds a way to get out of it. That indecisive has proved to be costly. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just got to toss another person to make a statement. The athleticism of Carmelo Hayes. About to be displayed for your viewing pleasure. Springboard leg drop. And now Lashley. Lashley avoids impact. He thinks he has it. He narrowly avoids the count. He really thought that was it. Oh. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. He's got a table. We know where this is going, gentlemen. He'll head to the ring. Hayes in full control. Suplex into a cover. Can Hayes put things away here? Cover! Two! That's it. Apollo just got eliminated. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. And that will add to the damage Lashley has already absorbed in this one. This deep into a fatal four-way match, it's a wonder they're not more banged up. But the grueling nature of this match is definitely getting to them now, gentlemen. Getting that shoulder up now is huge. Climbing up top, he's got big plans. He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. Flying. Carmelo Hayes, nothing but net. Crucial moment for Big E. Two. That's a wrap for Big E. His time in this match is over. Carmelo now trying to capitalize. 
able to give him the slip. These two trading counters, an absolute master class. We are seeing a next level performance from these competitors tonight. They've shown a lot of resiliency, you have to give them that. Taking out the knee. And Carmelo's attitude got put in check there. Such physicality from Lashley. Bicycle knee strike, ouch. Kick to the gut. Cranked around into a neck breaker. Able to get out of the way. Carmelo. Carmelo heads for the cover. Carmelo could have this one. Cover. Two. Near fall. Lashley able to find more power in that endless tank of his to get the shoulder up. This was the moment to capitalize on. That should have been the end. Returning to the ring now. And he barely evades. Unbelievable standing Spanish fly. Ooh. Catches the kick. Hit the dragon screw leg whip. Out of the way in time. Big overhand. He must have something up his sleeve, setting up the ladder there. Look out! Crossbody to the floor. No sign of hesitation, and that risk gained big rewards. And he goes into the ring. Momentum in this one. Bobby's arsenal is being taken away. Table watch right at their opponent. Good grief. That stop sign flew like it was a frisbee. Jeez. And Carmelo gets stifled. Oh, check out. Uh-oh. Into the cover! Oh, wait a minute. Turns the leverage for a pin of their own. Oh, flips the leverage. Shoulders down. He breaks the ref's count before two. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. All the momentum's against Lashley now. This has become all Carmelo. Absolutely chucked by a German suplex. How in the world do these superstars have anything left at this point? The arena's thinking the same thing. All eyes are focused on this moment. Oh, runs right into the table. He's got a plan for that table, and it does not involve a dinner party. He's returning fire. Big shot block. That'll stop you in your tracks. Oh, Lashley a step ahead. Outside the ring now. He has no need to rush. Look at that spot like a heat-seeking missile hit the target right on the mark. And now gets tossed into the ring. He's looking to cause some destruction with that table. I say bring it on. Scaling the ladder now. He's looking to get up that ladder, guys. I can't wait. Taking a risk, and boy, did it pay off. This is it. Big win, toppling three competitors here tonight.
Now let's take another look at one of the best Fatal 4-Way matches we've seen in a long, long while. And the outside help definitely had to play a factor here, guys. I don't know how anyone can call this a clear-cut win with that in mind. Look, you have to celebrate the fact they won it all by themselves. Were you watching the same match, Corey? They clearly had some assistance. Okay, Saxton, and in basketball, does the person who throws the assist get the point? No, my point stands. What? Uh, here's an extremely impressive young high flyer. Oh, Lee always has the heart of a champion, no matter what. Michael, we have seen that Wes always fights through adversity and faces any problems head on. Somebody call air traffic control because Wes Lee is about to take flight. Prepare to see an air of the display like none other. Perhaps the greatest high flyer of this era. Here comes Ricochet. You're right, Cole. We are looking at an amazing high flyer and a fearless risk taker. The one and only. Exhilarating and inspiring. Yeah, one of the most gifted aerialists in our industry. You're right, Byron, but Ricochet knows flying around can only take you so far, which is why Ricochet also possesses a very impressive power game. Well, there is one guarantee. Ricochet knows how to captivate the WWE Universe. The champion thrives in these situations. Pride and heart will be tested.
After winning this title, the champion seems to be riding high. Any champion's riding high. Cole, what do you want him to skulk around, bum that they're the best? And that's not what I meant. Forget it. One response after another. Back and forth we go. Missed timing with that springboard. Look at this. Incredible slide to the German. Is it enough? Two count and a kick out. He thought he had it. The springboard attack fails to land. Oh, God, that hurt. Able to elude it. Flying forearm. Into the corner he goes. A perfectly placed target. Oh, my goodness. What a kick. Check out the springboard. Oh, springboard. Clothesline. The champion into the cover. Kick out at one. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. He is hell bent on putting his opponent away. This has been a grueling battle. What is left? Wait, you don't think he's... Yes! Oh, my gosh! The champ is clearly going to take all measures necessary. Going for a pin for the championship. No, he kicks out. That's still a quick kick out at this point. Ricochet known for his speed and athleticism, but it's always size and strength that prove troublesome for him. That's usually an uphill battle for Ricochet, but he needs to depend on his innovative style, suit his talents. That means keeping a quick pace. Satellite DDT. Close fist connects. Great counter by Ricochet. Rolling elbow right on the mark. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Caught with that four. He knows how to avoid contact. Basement drop kick. Answering yeah. back. Reverse. Cover. Kick out and one for the challenger. Not yet. Ooh, harsh kick. Ooh, stinging kick. Shot to the face gets them out of that spot. Telegraphed that one and delivers a blow to the gut. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. Springboard misses the target. Firm control. Nasty kick to the face. Oh my god. A moonsault. And into the count. There's two. Champ does not end it. Close call. That was almost lights out. Sent to the outside. It's about to get worse. Oh, it's not going to be safe out there at all. Suicide Satan! It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. Oh, man. Set back into the ring. Cross body. Hoisted up into a power bomb position, but steady punches fighting out of it. Oh, look at this! Can be? Will the rain continue? Two kicks out, just kicked out. Somehow, this title is still up for grabs. Now might be a good time to regroup. He is hell-bent on putting his opponent away. This has been a grueling battle. What is left? Wait, you don't think he's... Spanish fly! Desperate attempt here to get back on his feet. A drop kick from the middle row. Nicely done. The challenger is in some big trouble. Look out! 
two and a half in the waning moments of this match. Boom! And these competitors are really laying it all on the line here. You can just tell how badly they want it. Spinebuster. Ricochet starting to feel himself now. Oh, oh this looks familiar. Yeah, paying homage to the all-time greats. People's Moonsault. in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? And Wes's counter. Bottom uppercut. That'll cross from teeth. Not a spiring offense from Ricochet. And Ricochet's leaning on that innovative style, keeping things at his pace. Oh, fell right into a powerbomb. Oh. Oh, man. And the champion finally ready to put this one away. Kick out at two. Both competitors digging deep into their well to keep this match going. Oof. Super kick. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. Oh, I thought the champ had it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't either. Can this ref even count to three? And the momentum's clearly against West now. Can West recover from this adversity? And that failed to hit the mark. Athleticism from Ricochet. Ricochet showing he's not out of it. Now's the chance for Ricochet to get back into this match. You can sense it. This crowd is on pins. The champion into the cover. And he fights it off. Somehow, some way, he is still in this. And then boom! Whip out of the turnbuckle, reversed, walking the rope, spectacular athleticism, and the clothesline on the money for the championship. Emphatic kick out from the champion. This is what champions are made of. Always finding that deepest ounce of willpower, that final drop of fuel in the reserve. Oh, really? elbow. The champ not in a great place. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble the superstar exposes himself to. Basement drop kick. He turns it around. Are you kidding me? Oh, ouch! West did his homework. Reversal! What a counter! Escape just in time. The running dragon runner! Spectacular! Placed in the corner. Shot to the back of the neck, sends their opponent to the middle of the ring. Whoa! Handstand into a Pele kick. We could have a new champion. We almost had a new champion. The title still hanging in the balance. Resilience of a champion on display. When your opponent can hang after all that, you're wondering if earning a win might just be impossible. So much torque on the knee and ankle. There's not a single person sitting in this arena. It's pandemonium, Cole. DDT. Here's the pin title on the line. Go. Stopping the refs count at two. He refuses to stay down. Pure instinct. And Wes's counter. Reciprocating the initial reversal. 
so fast. Ricochet heads up, thinking high risk. Uh-oh. Way too oh, oh. Diving moonsault! Looking for a high risk, high reward situation. Here we go. Are you kidding me? A rotation moonsault! Fortune favors the bold. These risks could ricochet from the top. That match deserves another look. Here we go. win you deserve it for focusing up and keeping your eye on the ball see the distraction didn't even phase them in the long run Corey they won in spite of it I don't know I think it gave them the motivation they needed to win this one for someone who loves the sound of his own voice do you ever hear yourself Katana Chance, the Warriors of NXT. The following contest is a tag match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, the team of Katana Chance and Kaden Carter. The longest reigning NXT Women's Tag Team Champions in history. Hey, they dance as good as they wrestle. Go, Kaden. Go, Kaden. Byron, I'm a much better dancer. You know I've won many dance contests. And guys, this looks to be a match with major implications here in WWE. Could change the entire landscape here. When it comes to two talents, you don't want to underestimate Caden Carter and Katana Chance have to be pretty high on that list within the women's division. According to Carter and Chance, there's no greater freedom than being underestimated. Because when you bring the party and have as much fun as... Quickly, the cover! Kicks out at just one. Fighting hard to stay in this match. Put into the corner now. Jumping clothesline in the corner. Finds its target. Bam! She anticipated that one. Snapmare. Not safe yet. Nick. Counter from Carter. Ooh. Zoe moves out of the way. 
Able to avoid any harm there. Quick exchange of counters there. Here's the tag. These two superstars. Oh, not done. She can end it here. And she's not done yet. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. Boom. That might be it. Show her up and the referee ends the count. Keeping a loss at bay for now. Boom. Catches the kick. Dragon screw. I oh, able to counter. Oof. Where's the haymaker? Getting tossed by the Hurricane Lana. Oh, foot just stomping down. Ooh. What on earth could Katana Chance be setting up here? Starts off with a leg drop. She catches Katana with a counter. Uh-oh. She covers for the pin. Wait a minute, here come the tag team champions. They weren't even in the match, Cole. Oh. Obviously, the champs feel threatened. Well, the champs wanted the spotlight and a message sent. Here comes six foot eight, 385 pounds of chaos. Braun Strowman has a mean streak a mile long. Yeah, and a proven history of not playing well with others. Impressive physical ability. One of the biggest and baddest to ever step foot in WWE. A modern marvel not to be messed with. An absolute force of nature. The size of Omos must be seen to be believed. Looms over the entire ring and the locker room for that matter. Omos is just as powerful as he is towering. Right about that one, Saxton. Omos truly is one guy you don't, under any circumstance, ever want to mess with.
Introducing the challenger from Sheridan, North Carolina, weighing in at 385 pounds, Braun Strowman! And his opponent from Lagos, Nigeria, weighing in at 400 pounds, the WWE This is all for the highly decorated United States Championship. Harley Race, the inaugural champion, truly a tough man's title. The United States Championship has a tremendous amount of history dating back Let to... Let me stop you, Cole. We know the history. Tonight, this match is about the future. The United States Champion isn't focused on how he won it. He's focused on keeping it. As much as I want to, I can't argue with that, Corey. Good God, man! Jeez Louise! Slips out of the way. Big clothesline. He's able to sidestep there. Clothesline! Good oh, Lord! So effective. Elbow detours that offense. Forearm. Drop with the spine buster. And here we go. And the ropes forced to break. He did not want to be caught up in that submission any longer. What the leg? Look at this. She just tossed the leg. Challenger might need to regroup after getting knocked around like that. Strong counters from Strowman. And he retaliates on Strowman. Look, no doubt, Strowman is an intimidating superstar. But as history has shown, he's not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed. You definitely don't want to go head to head with him in the power and strength department. So outsmarting him is absolutely your best bet. I'm going to tell him you said all that. Oh, jaw shattering. Whoa. Just disrespect right there. I kind of like it. Well placed kick. Boom! Oh, what a takedown! Followed by a champ looking to end this. Oh, did he get him? Two and a half. Oh, turn out the lights just yet. Strowman's being cut down at every corner. And you can't deny he's been outsmarting Braun here, using his brain instead of going head-to-head -head on power and strength. Counters, this could be an opportunity. Oh, the earth-shaking impact. Another one bites Makes the, the dust cover. for the champ. Wow, just barely making it out. Simply refusing to let this opportunity slip away. And who knows if there'll be another shot, yet you can't give up now. And Omas is as surprised as we are. He clearly didn't expect anybody to kick out of that. Power bomb! The champion into the cover! Digging deep for a kick out. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. Braun got out of there. And he's able to counter. Here it comes. Looking for now a pin for the championship. Ah, oh, by a hair. This title fight continues. This is where desperation becomes a factor. Time to pull out all the stops. Was ready for that. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Plucked out of the air. He just won't give up. Boom. He manages.
manages to escape it. Countered into an STO. Oh. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Elbow drop. Covered by the champ. He kicks out at two. Getting dangerously close to ending it all there. Big four. Men keep going. They gotta be close to running on empty by now. Oh, Braun stopped that in its tracks. Caught with that sharp elbow. Swinging the elbow to halt the offense. And guys, now I see blood on the face of Omas. Finally, Omas is able to interrupt the. With a ring-shaking spine buster. A championship level move. And Omos will leave with the championship again. What a title defense. That match is worth another look. Here we go. the result of keeping their head in the game in this one. Props to them for not letting the distractions get to them, to tuning out the noise and getting the job done. If anything, the distraction worked as the perfect motivation to get them into gear. I don't hear a thank you, though. C Corey, I just don't get how your mind works sometimes. at a team that delivers a tag clinic every time they compete. But tonight might be their best lesson yet. Tension building for this match is so thick you can cut it with a knife. A lot of drama involved with this one. These teams are ready to test each other in this tag team matchup. 
In this one, it's going to be Umberto and Angel. And across from them, they will be squaring off with Julius Creed and Brutus Creed. Quick tags and staying fresh are imperative in a tag match. The question is, which duo has the better teamwork to stick to that strategy? From the middle rope. Oh, what a splash! Oh, look at this. Just cranking the head. That's got to hurt. Cranking the head. Counters that. Reigns down an elbow in retaliation. Into the corner now. There's the tag. Looks like some tandem offense on the horizon. Gut wrenching. Oh, flash. Nice. When you see a unit as aligned as they are, it's really incredible. Kicking out there really has to make his opponent question his game plan. Producing a trampling. Knee driven right through the face and again. With these knee strikes, you can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. He eludes the contact, and that was a precisely measured attack. Gut wrench suplex. That move had the amount of force akin to a natural disaster. Oh no! Oh, stop right to the gut. Knees up, saw it coming, and was laying in wait. Shifts it back onto him. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Double big back body drop. Teamwork making the dream work right here with that display. Ooh, nice takedown. He's struggling a bit here. Yeah, this is exactly why constant, frequent tags are so important in a match like this. To Lift off and coming down with incredible force. Two breaks the close count. Now is not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. Bulls. And Umberto dodges that one. Quick exchange, reversing the reversal. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. Reaches his partner for the tag. T-bone into a power slam. Cover! He's able to beat a two count. Still going to take a massive effort to keep him down. And Julius gets met with a response. Oof! Point of the elbow counters that. Point of the elbow finds the mark. Wicked clothesline. Ooh. Point of the elbow nailed it. Things not going well now for Angel. Creed's proving hard to deal with. And there was some force on that move. Coming to the rescue. It up. Nice suplex. Oh, what a maneuver. He just barely dodges. Textbook fireman's carry takeover. Over the elbow. Angels put a stop to that. Showing his instinct. A counter answered by another counter. Left by the turnbuckles. Oh my gosh! With one hand! Julius Creed taking it down in the basement. Wait for it. Boom! With the clothesline. I'm not liking Umberto's odds here. Just one step ahead. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. 
And one more reversal. Talk about evenly matched here. Great flurry of offense from Julius. Can Angel recover from this adversity? You can see the battle scars on their bodies, and they are telling an epic tale. These men are showing everyone the desire, the strength, and the will it takes to compete at this level. Standing shooting star press incredible. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. Vicious right forward. Oh, what a clubbing block. He knew that was coming. And running hurt Colorado. Ah, kick. Nasty kick. Uh-oh, double underhook. This is going to be nasty. Butterfly pile driver. Will it be? I think so. Kick it out before the count. Thought he had it. You've got to be kidding me. It is absolutely deafening in the building right now. Enable the counter. The body is starting to fail at this point. And this is, uh, well, it's not looking good. Countered with the knee to the face. Ripped in the hard way. Big four. Oh, the physicality on display there. Unbelievable. Unloads with the boot. Oh, a rear super kick. Oh, behind. Nasty. He went right in. Uh, tag made. Double team coming. Heading up to the top rope. What are they up playing here? Doomsday Cannonball. That's won it for Julius before. Is it enough? The cover. Two. No, it's not over. Holy moly, how? Angel showing his instinct. Angel with the wing clipper. Brutus Creed is down. Pain is he willing to endure in this match? The next big move might end this. The question is, who has the stamina left to pull it out? No. Oh, oh, oh. It is beyond electric in here. This energy is on another level. What now? Oh, stop right there and gut. Comes crashing down. Gets tagged in. Top rope, here we go! From the top! Elbow drop, good lord! I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Top rope, measuring his opponent! Boom! And the WWE Universe continues to remain on their feet. They know they are witnessing something special here. Angel with the wing clipper. Is it enough for Angel? Looking for the victory. Two. Oh, he got him a win. And here's another quick look at those superstars in action in that tag team battle. imagine things might have been different had this been a fully fair fight but tonight we only have this i don't see how you can say the distraction factor didn't play a factor in this one guys guys let's not be biased here they won fair and square sure if there is apparently a new definition of the term fair and square having a little outside help does not feel like it fits the bill the man 
When you're Becky Lynch, every night is a perfect one contest. to start a fight. Is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. She is as tough as they come. Yeah, these days the outfits may be a little fancier, but the passion in Lynch remains the same. Perhaps the most popular competitor in women's division history. Beware Asuka's quick, vicious strikes. They can knock out an opponent in an instant. I'll tell you, nobody makes an entrance quite like Asuka. A grand entrance for a Grand Slam champion. And representing damage control from Osaka, Japan, Asuka! She is mysterious. She is hypnotic. She is lethal. She is Asuka, and there is no one else like her. Well, one thing is you have to answer Becky's amazing in-ring IQ and willingness to do anything to win. Well, if she can find the right strategy, it'll change her career. These competitors are so evenly matched. They both came to WWE to prove how good they could be and have not disappointed. Both women are so focused. This is what the WWE Universe has been waiting for. Both superstars are championship caliber competitors. Both are Royal Rumble winners, and the look on their faces tell the story. Asuka looks at tonight as a major opportunity to prove that while Becky Lynch is the man, she is the empress and dominates all comers. Oof. At times, we've seen how Becky Lynch can be fairly reckless with her own body in the ring. Is that going to be a problem for her tonight, Corey? Now, Lynch only gets to that reckless place when she starts fighting with her anger more than her head. If she's able to keep her composure and not push her bodily limits, she should be able to add another win to her record. Lynch finds the mark. Watcher set up in the corner. Sequence of reversals here. Both superstars clearly studied game tape ahead of time. Kick right in the spine. Goal! Oh, look at a torch of their opponent. Oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, man. She turns it right around with a counter. Effective arm drag. And Asuka's opposition not looking overwhelmed by her there. Yeah, Becky delivering the pain. And will this be it? She kicks out in one. I think this match still has a ways to go. Bang! Oh, meet me in the basement. I've got a foot to the face for you. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? Nightmare takedown. Oh, roundhouse kick. This is what you call high risk blast off. That unraveled on Asuka. And another counter. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. Oh, this, what a headbutt. Gets put into the barricade. Oh, Aranagi. That off 
offense really hitting her hard. Becky keenly sensed an opportunity to attack and took full advantage. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Can she score the pin? Very close. Fatigue clearly setting in. Oof. She's going up. Top rope here. She's got her where she wants her. From the top. There's the go round. Goes into the pin. Two. Fends off the three count. If she keeps the pressure on, the next one might do it. Oh. Looking to go airborne. Incoming! She's staying elusive. Oh no. Decided to take a leap of faith and paid the price. She heads out of the ring. Interesting strategy. Oh, stop right to the hand. You have to imagine the disdain it takes to repeatedly stop someone like that. Boom! Head first. Going up top. Up high. Oh, got caught. Oh, my God. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. How's that for a counter? Knees meet face. Come on, Becky fights back. Face buster. Boom. She must be close to finish now. She is barely standing at this point. Big leg drop. And shoulders are down. There's two. Big kick out. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. You can see her struggling to find her bearings. From the top, she comes up empty. Oh, oh, nothing fancy about that. Far off with an elbow. Manhandle slam. Is it the finishing touch Lynch needs? Cover. Oh man, what a hard fought win, and she deserves to celebrate here. Oh, look who is here. The champ making her way down to the ring. I think the champ just wants to come down here and show uh, show the challenger who's superior. She's showing the challenger whose world this truly is. I'm sure the challenger would love to get her opportunity sooner than later to become champion. The arrogant social media star is here. The following contest is an elimination match. And is for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Introducing the challenger from Cleveland, Ohio. Weighing in at 205 pounds. There are folks in the crowd, on social media, heck, even backstage, who resent Logan Paul because he's a celebrity who shot to WWE superstardom. Well, some people believe Paul didn't pay his dues and he's an entitled celebrity. You know what? Those people can put in the work to make themselves a star like Logan Paul did. Until then, shut your mouth and immerse yourself in the Logan Paul experience because he's serving it up.
Put your hard hats on. Logan Paul's about to go to work, and someone's about to catch some hands. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes the phenomenal one. Expectations in WWE and is now a first ballot Georgia, Hall of Famer. Weighing in at 215 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ Styles is an athlete who many would argue possesses the best all around skill set in WWE. Styles has an unmatched drive to win, undeterred passion, fire, and desire. And we're gonna see it on display tonight, courtesy of the Phenomenal One. You know, being known as Phenomenal, that's just the beginning. Well, anytime AJ Styles is in the ring, you have to almost assume that it's gonna turn into an instant classic. Yeah, another one's imminent tonight. The son of a dream, the American nightmare. Michael, a man who redefined himself away from WWE and is now a main event star. And introducing the champion from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes! Cody Rhodes has been on a mission as of late to solidify his position at the top of the WWE. He reached the main event of WrestleMania. Now it's time to finally finish the story. You can compare him to his father, his brother, but Cody has been dead set on forging his own path to success. While certainly honoring his family, Cody knows this is his time to shine. And a win tonight goes a long way towards that. Hoping that handoff to the referee won't be the last time he sees his championship. The most glorious title in the world of sports entertainment. Championship action on tap tonight here in this elimination contest. And we're in for a good one with Logan Paul, AJ Styles, and Cody Rhodes. Each elimination will bring us one step closer to possibly seeing the title change hands here tonight. I can hardly contain my excitement. Able to reverse that one. Big, big back body drop. One elevation. Debilitating attacks like that are exactly how you create a big opening. Oh, nice. Schoolboy from behind. Cover. The challenger gets a shoulder up. Staying in this one. Boom. Uh oh. What's coming next? A back suplex. Oh, man. Able to reverse. 
Look, I know it may sound cliche, but with triple threat matches, you've always got to keep your head on a swivel. Always got to know when to pick your spot. Even if you form an alliance, it won't last. That's just the nature of the game. The challenger's looking shaken. Counter from Rhodes. Getting set up for something in the corner. Ooh. He finds a counter for Rhodes. Paul gets out of the way. Counter. And now there's an opening. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. And full control here, face first. Oh! Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. He's taking this to the floor now. what that was and gets tossed back into the mat stirring back to his feet but he might not know where he is oh. drop kick. goes into the pin and he manages to kick out in one he's far from finished there's the bulldog a bad place to be for the challenger it's expected Cole in a triple AJ Styles rolls through into the calf crusher submission. It's in. This could be it. Ooh, that hurt. Uh-oh. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Uh-oh. Way too oh, much. He could pin his opponent. still in the fight, but for how much longer? He saw it coming. Oh, what a clothesline! Regain control with the takedown. Uses an elbow to disrupt that attack. Neck breaker! It looks like Cody will fix... Russian leg sweep and the octopus stretch. He's in deep, deep trouble. Perched up top. Diving knee drop. Cody Rose has his opponent up and wants it. Looking to put his opponent on Dream Street. Crossroads. Oh, caught him. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. A pedigree. Continues. That is just pure instinct at this point. Rhodes has his opponent. Finish Rhodes. I think the champ's got it. Cover. Two. And Logan Paul was just eliminated. Wow. Cody Rhodes with his opponent. Fire breaker. That's gotta be it. He just kicked out by a fraction of a second. Senton connects. Styles has no control here. There's incredible impact with every maneuver Cody delivers. And targeting the leg there. Catches the kick. Spectacular counter into a dragon screw. And AJ reverses. Saw it coming. Oh, here it comes. Oh, and the bionic elbow. Ooh. Uh oh, he could be looking for a submission here. Trying to take an arm out of the socket here. They want that, and they are not letting go. AJ's. Great escape from the arm bar. A oh, costly error there. So precise with the super kick. Wow, what an arm drag. Rose time that one. 
Look at this heel hook. This is how you punish your opponent, and he's enjoying every minute of it. Strong oh, kick. My goodness. Cody sparing some time for the adoring fans. Hard right hand. What are we going to see here? Uh oh. Spiking DDT. And this is going to be it. Kicks out. How in the world did he kick out? Oh. It has been a constant barrage from each of these competitors. Almost a hazardous amount of punishment has been dealt. It's got to be concerning. Clearly, neither man is worried about their well-being. Cuts off their offense with a swift elbow to the gut. Great response to AJ there. Cody Connor, what a move! For the win! Two! That's it! The champ stays the champ! Triple Tets always deliver three times the action, and that one was no exception. Take a look. And the outside help definitely had to play a factor here, guys. I don't know how anyone can call this a clear-cut win with that in mind. Guys, let's not be biased here. They won fair and square. Sure, if there is apparently a new definition of the term fair and square, having a little outside help does not feel like it fits the bill.